Uh, race there, a new lap record set in that last uh, session there, or the last race. Uh, lap records can only be set in the um, actual race. You might be able to break a lap record or go under a lap record in a uh, qualifying or practice session, but that is not an official lap record. So the Dixie Cup's underway. Eight bikes there, they hurtle down to uh, turn one. Great series this, great. Uh, they, they debuted here two years ago at uh, the 2017 Mini Moto Championships and it's, it's just evolved and evolved and evolved and something like 25 competitors entered for the Suzuki Series or lined up to enter for the Suzuki Series including uh, three current or formerly New Zealand Superbike champions so uh, some good dicing there going into the uh, into the infield there number 17 was fourth in the last race that was Justin Maunder he's now uh, was second there he's been uh, he's still there in second place he wears the orange and black leathers there uh, he gets pipped in, I think that's Luca Durning come through there, and uh, heading in towards the lead. Caleb Gilmore's probably out in the lead, or it could be Shane Miller. They're both very, very similarly dressed. Uh, the helmet colours are different. Shane may be wearing the white, white leathers back in fourth place. We've got someone tailing on there in fifth as well. Last race we had the top four riders, Shane Miller, Luca Durning, Caleb Gilmore, and Justin Maunder um, hammering it out, but there's a fifth uh, competitor in there having a good old play and we go back a little bit further back to the three uh, competitors so look at that uh, Luca Durning there gets pushed back into third place by Shane Miller as they go down that back straight Shane Miller also he's got himself a, um, a 300 uh, super sport bike I think he's got a Yamaha 300 running the number 20 as he does in the Jigsaw Cup so all action coming out of that go media corner onto the front straight and uh, Get some very tight splits here. We're going to have uh, five bikes coming through within less uh, than 0.3 uh, of a second, I suspect. Uh, is that number 20 sitting up there? It's got the white leathers. Lucy Dowman, the fastest. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's Lucy Dowman's moved up into that uh, bunch of riders out in the front. So, uh, and look, they've tightened up once again. So, Lucy, I don't know where you've got this from. She's uh, certainly a hard charger and, and races sidecars as well as a passenger, but uh, certainly now for her to come from. Uh, what was her fastest lap last time? 42.1, and now it's uh, the fastest was 38.4. So for her to get up in that pack, something's happened. Uh, and something impressive, uh, I tell you. And this has got to be great for her confidence as well. So uh, Shane Miller was in fifth place there. He's been out in the front uh, from time to time. So five bikes amongst that. So Lucy Dowman, maybe this is her coming of age. And uh, absolutely outstanding racing. Good to see uh, Suzuki back on the... Uh, Race tracks again this year, though, uh, are the current New Zealand Superbike champion, as well as, um, of course, the Jixxer Cup, because they're going to have to be, because it's, uh, that's all the bikes at, but they are supporting the New Zealand uh, International Suzuki Series over the uh, three rounds in uh, December. The first round is at Taupo, two days uh, instead of the normal one. Manfield, two days instead of the normal one. And then the cemetery circuit, $7,100 prize money. I think Suzuki put forward uh, about uh, $5,050, and uh, the Suzuki series as well provided a uh, couple of thousand dollars for the Jixxer Cup class and going to be really electric racing. The the, num the lap record was broken by about 1.59 seconds last year and that's from the previous year. Pretty outstanding because there's nothing allowed to be done to these bikes to uh, improve the performance. They're all stayed the same for two seasons so Jake Miller number 20 was sitting up there going through the start line last time round he is now um, tucked in there at the front of 39.7 we're still about a will happen uh, 1.3 seconds off the lap record which is set in the last race often what you get when people are dicing the lap record or is not under as much threat because the slipstreaming you're, you're in behind slipstream some and they're actually towing them back a little bit so here comes Shane Miller to take the lead no he doesn't it is uh, number 27 Caleb Gilmore there in second place Luca Durning in third uh, just a maunder and fourth and Lucy Dowman had dropped off this pack a little bit but she's back up there now and uh, still in contention there still only about uh, six bike links back from fourth place so we've got about uh, four bike links from first to second two bike links second to third uh, about five to six and maybe back about ten or twelve back to Lucy Dowman we've got Sarah Humphrey out there as well on bike 19 Eve Scrivener on 13 and Emma Dowman uh, on bike number 33 uh, Eve Scrivener Asked her why she run the number 13. She said that's her football number. So a sportswoman out there now having a go. And a, her father, Andy Scrivener, here. He's about uh, eight or nine times, including the current New Zealand uh, Championship 
um, winner for the uh, sidecar class. So side by side down the back straight for the lead two bikes and the other three. Uh, Lucy has really impressed me the way she pushed, pulled into this group of people as well. So uh, backs it off a bit going into that Go Media sweeper. So maybe she lacks the uh, the uh, dedication, the commitment to uh, break into that Go Media sweeper. So down the front straight, and we're going to get less than point one of a second uh, between the first and the second. <laughs> Nine thousand of a second, excuse me. Nine thousand of a second with Caleb Bil Gilmore out in the front. New lap record, eighty-eight thousandths of a second off. It is now one thirty-eight four eight eight gone to one thirty-eight four hundred flat. So that is for Caleb Gilmore. Shane Miller said it in the last race, so electric racing right now out on the track in front of you. Change of position there for the lead. Uh, 20 goes in front. It's not number 20. It is, yes, Shane Miller. Yep, he's gone into the front. So three bikes. Somebody sits up there going into the hairpin, just uh, possibly lost a tr bit of traction on the front wheel. Didn't seem to affect him coming out of that corner, though as we've got two laps to go in the Jixa Cup race here at the 2019 Mini Moto Championship. Another change of lead coming up down that centre straight. This is all about slipstreaming. And we're seeing uh, Justin Monda go from fourth into third. Lucy Dowman sort of pulling into that uh, lead pack as well, so she's not out of the mix at, at whatsoever. It'll be interesting to see what her lap, fastest lap time was in the last race. It was 42.106. She's now 38.916, so that's nearly five seconds off that. That's, uh, well, closer to four seconds off that. So impressive riding, impressive riding. Four bikes go into the uh, braking region for the Go Media corner there. Uh, the person in third place, Luca Derning, I think, was the gain in there. Still held the same uh, track position, but uh, uh, here's where the tactics come along. They tuck into the white line there, trying to break that slipstream of the riders in behind. It's number 20 and number 27 going across in first and second place. Caleb Gilmore uh, is still the fastest man on the track in second spot. So uh, 138.827, last lap time, 138.948.993. So... Uh, 0.050 of a second, 055 actually, splitting those two riders there. So it's still anybody's game, and again, three wide now coming out of uh, turn two at Manfield, two wide there coming into turn three. Very excellent riding, 21 sitting in third place, Luca Derning. This is the final lap, and Lucy Dowman just seems to have the edge over all those other riders, and certainly made up more ground than anyone else on that infield there, and... Uh, I don't know, it's going to be a tough call for her to get to the podium, but wow, she is certainly putting in the effort there and uh, up to her lap time substantially. Uh, 138.488 for Shane Miller last lap round, uh, last race round, and he's a 138.827, so just a little bit slower. So the winner here, I see, is uh, Lucy Dowman there. Don't want to put the commentator's curse on there. We're still going to look out for the girls there, Sarah Humphrey, Eve Scrivener and Emma Dowman uh, uh, just coming into the hairpin and through the infield, so... Five bikes down that back straight. Uh, Shane Miller seems to have uh, the punch down the back straight, but it looks like, I think that's Caleb Gilmore gone through back into the lead there. He crossed the line in second place. It's not a good move to uh, lead into this Go Media corner on the final lap because of the slipstreaming in that. Uh, generally, they don't come through and win the race. He touched right inside, gets followed through there. Uh, makes the track a little bit longer, cuts across the white line, but comes through and it is number 20, Shane Miller takes the win, Caleb Gilmore, Luke Dirty, Lucy Dowman, Lucy Dowman, a 138.542, and Justin Maunder there, so uh, it won't be long before we see Lucy Dowman get a podium, I'm sure, 20, 27, 21, 32, and 17, those are the top five riders as they cross the track, but someone else should be, hello, we've got a bike bike down somewhere, one. looking around for the final, oh there's the final three competitors, Sarah Humphrey, local girl from Palmerston North coming through on bike 19, then a bit of Eve Scrivener and Emma Dowman. Impressive, one, two, three, four uh, ladies in that race and four guys. Here it is, Eve Scrivener from Taupo coming through on the number 13 machine and then behind her Emma Dowman to round up the top eight. All right, folks, back to a bit of music. <laughs> 